Doc M and Red Dog created the most insane lightning machine that I have ever seen in Minecraft. But how does it work? And how did they manage to get that thunderstorm just right? And how did they manage to get that blue axolotl? And most importantly, how can you replicate it in your own world? We are going to be answering all of those questions in today's video. Let's go! First of all, how did the actual machine work? Well, Doc touched on this in his episode, but put simply, the tridents are able to stay in entity form when they are thrown on the lightning rod. This is because the piston is constantly pushing down on them, so the game recognizes them as thrown by a player. They will never be able to despawn or turn into item form when that piston is running. The lightning rod is able to position the tridents just right so that the piston is able to push them. Because the tridents have channeling on them, they channel the lightning into the rod constantly. The constant updates from the zero tick make them send the lightning at super high speeds. As soon as a thunderstorm hits, voila, you have a lightning machine. How did they manage to get a thunderstorm timed just right? Well, this part is a bit tricky. There are a few ways they could have done this, and I'm not quite sure which way they did it. One way is using a data pack. I know that the hermits have a data pack that turns the weather to rain, so I don't think it's out of the question for them to do the same with thunder for this event. We know that Doc didn't act Activate the thunderstorm, but it could be Ren because he was in a replay mod shot when it happened, and he was looking pretty still in that replay mod shot right up until it started. So we definitely would have had time to run a command that we wouldn't have been able to see. Another possibility is they kept trying the scene until they got lucky. Sleeping resets the chances of a thunderstorm spawning. So if the online hermits didn't sleep, this could be a possibility. How did they manage to get the blue axolotl in the cage? We saw that they started out with an axolotl known as cyan and ended on blue. Well, this one is even trickier as I scoured the web for hints to no avail. Every source I came across told me that creative commands is basically the only way to get these as they have less than a 0.1% chance of spawning. So again, I think there are two routes that they could have taken with this. The less likely route would have been using creative commands. This would have made the ordeal a lot easier as finding a blue axolotl legitly is very hard, but this is a hermitcraft server and I do not think that they would cheat. Another idea is that they just got super lucky and managed to find one out in the wild. They could have used some sort of program that told them where a blue axolotl would spawn, or maybe they just got super lucky. They could have managed to switch the two out in between scenes and that would have been the end of it. Finally, a little bonus thing. How do they activate the beacon? This is a pretty easy answer as they were were both in a replay mod shot and their characters were not visible and they were seen flying from the bottom meaning that i think they just flicked a switch at the bottom and they had some redstone wired up to turn on all of the stuff so now let's show you how to build their machine it's super simple you need all of the materials that you see in my hop bar right now and as many channeling tridents as you want you can do this with as many as you want and the results are just going to keep getting crazier so first things first is you're going to place a sticky piston and then a regular piston and a redstone block over here do the same place redstone right in front of a redstone block skip this block for now go up one block go up another block next thing you want to do is come behind this redstone block go diagonal to it and place a redstone dust right there we're going to keep going around and we're going to build up a little tower just like on that other side there but then we are going to keep this tower going two blocks out and one block to the side place redstone dust on all of that now you want to place a lightning rod one block away from that redstone you're going to want to get a piston facing down connecting to that redstone so now it's time to throw your tridents at the lightning rod you can just throw them right there that was five tridents Make sure you don't pick them up. Now you can come over to the front with an extra redstone dust, place it down, and as you see, the machine is working, but there's no lightning. So what we have to do, because I'm in creative mode, I can do this. If you're in survival, not using cheats, you can just wait it out for a thunderstorm, and you can go ahead and set the weather to thunder. Wait a few seconds, and you will see some craziness start to happen. Look at that, bam, you have a lightning machine that generates tons and tons of lightning. So go put on a show for your friends in your survival world. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.